talked about identifying the opposition as what? As the enemy. As the enemy. When we go out there, we're not going out to play a game, we're going out there to war. That's what you do against the enemy. You don't play a game against the enemy, you go to war against the enemy. So what work these guys win this war? Let's go, boys. Go, boys. Practice. We've got uh, two huge games coming up on the uh, weekend. Both games must win for us. Okay, so let's not waste everything we've done here uh, all week. We're not being prepared for uh, Friday night and uh, Saturday night. So uh, good dry land uh, workout today at uh, and out. Uh, rest day uh, Thursday. Come ready to win and compete on uh, Friday. So that's it, boys. We got a young team, so you know we've got a lot of rookies on the team, and it, there's always an adjustment period with them. Uh, it's not the same as if you played the league before. You know the game's quicker here. Um, you know when you're playing against bigger, stronger guys. So um, you know uh, in the future, you know as guys start to get a little more comfortable, uh, I think we have the skill level to compete with any team in this league. Um, I think we've shown that today. Uh, it's going to be obviously tougher as we get down the stretch, and we're going to need guys to play a little bit tougher and you know uh, adjust the speed a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I think we're uh, we're in good shape with our with our skill level and our, our players. You know the the desire for players to uh, to have success here is really really important. Uh, their will uh, to compete in practice, their will to learn, their will to do all the extra things they need to do on their own time uh, that we provide for. We practice uh, every day, Monday to uh, Thursday, for an hour and a half. It's a good organization where players want to come play, and I think coaches want to come coach as well too. It's, a, it's an environment you know, where everybody strives to get better, and, it's, uh, like I said earlier, the, the, one of the best organizations, I think, in the OJHL, for sure. Being a good hockey player at this level, it's about you know, teaching these guys that there's more to just showing up and putting points on the board. Um, you know, you've got to do a lot of things well, and that includes Stuff off the Certainly in my uh, younger life, hockey was my life. And after going to been coaching now for over uh, 20 years, and it's the closest thing you can do to uh, to be uh, to be as close to the game as possible. Uh, apart from being a player, seeing the success of the players and them getting scholarships and moving on, and uh, you know teaching every day and uh, being around the rink is uh, is a lot of uh, self gratification for sure. I got an education out of it. Uh, I got a chance to go play in Europe for a little bit, and then when I came back uh, and hung up the skates, so to speak, it was just an opportunity to get into coaching and sort of keep that fire alive, uh, that competitive fire, and, and sort of pass on, uh, you know, to the, to the younger generation what, what I've sort of been through and what I've learned. So, you know, that's kind of why I got into coaching. Get to see the players grow. I have some of these players I've been with for three, four years now. Uh, through the minor hockey ranks and just, you know, see them develop and kind of live through them now and hopefully, you know, not make the same mistakes I made as a player and, and you know, go even further than I did as a player. So. We have arguably the best arena in the OJHL and we want to really show that off. We want to get 2,000 uh, Oakville people out to games and the best way to do that is have the best Oakville product uh, playing on the ice.
vicious, and then you scream in a mirror and demon get low, make a pass. Christ ruins everything. Play hard for only as a unit for a change here. Don't just play two, three shifts, get a scoring chance, and then shut her down for the next 10 minutes. It's going to take a full 20 from everyone in here. The one thing we always will, will strive to do is, is develop uh, character and find character and bring that into our dresser. Um, that's one of those things that when we face adversity, uh, you're really going to have to see uh, you know, what kind of person you have in front of you. So when we bring good character into our dressing room and we have good leadership from the guys that are wearing our captain's um, you know, letters on their jerseys, you know, that's going to push right through to all the other players. So anytime any adversity is faced, you know, we trust that we've brought in great character guys that are going to be able to take the team uh, to the next level. Uh, honestly, it didn't go that well. It wasn't what we wanted to come out here. Uh, it's a weak start and uh, it's not... It's not our best, so we're going to go back to the drawing board and finish with a hard 40. All right, uh, what are you guys going to do in the secondary to sort of change that? It's just outworking them. Right now we're getting outworked, and it's, it's just not acceptable.